Hello everyone, this is Moni again and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I completed the reading fill in the blanks task um, in Moxie on ptepractice.com. Let's get started. So the first task in reading is fill in the blanks with the drop down options. Uh, it's, uh, another name for it is reading and writing. And you should keep in mind that it's the most important part um, in reading and it accounts for almost 35% of the total mark. So firstly have a look through the passage. Don't allow yourself to slip into self-defeating habits such as procrastinating. Um, procrastinating means getting distracted, um, like getting, um, like delaying things for later instead of doing something that you need to do. So in this case, study. Uh, it says try to keep something going in your study. So let's have a look at the options. Energy, rational, objective, progression, and momentum. Okay, so if we look at the article, it's a. Uh, um, so the word can't start with vowel, so automatically we can elim eliminate energy and objective. Um, and the only word that matches with the meaning motivation is uh, momentum. Okay, uh, so try to guess the word beforehand before you look at the options. Okay, we continue reading. Uh, something blocks of study with short breaks to limit fatigue. Fatigue is like when you get tired. Um, so they're giving advice, so probably something about, you know, like you should take more breaks so that you don't get tired. Um, something like allow blocks maybe. Yeah, allow blocks, I can see that. Disrupt, prevent, punctuate, scatter. Yeah, and the only word that um, is the most suitable, I will say allow. Okay, allow blocks. Okay, think positively about yourself and your situation. Challenge the negative thoughts that creep into your mind and cause your unnecessary stress at times, such as I'm going to fail, I'll end up blowing my future, my chance of getting a career. You don't have any need to think something is not achieving anything um so in this case they they are trying to tell you to be more positive about your outcomes so you shouldn't think too negatively okay the keyword here is negative and i guess it should be an adverb okay the options are accidentally catastrophically hurriedly repetitively and tenaciously mm -hmm. Um, so the most suitable one, I'll say catastrophically. Because if you, even if you put the other ones, they don't really match. And catastrophic thoughts normally means when you think about failure, when you think about some sort of like disasters that can happen. In fact, it's doing a lot more harm than good because it's distracting you away from what you need to do. Learn to become more relaxed in your daily life. There are simple something such as breathing exercises and progressive muscular re relaxation exercises as well as guided imagery. Okay, simple maybe techniques, methods. Mm. Let's see. Arrangement, plans, processes, techniques. Okay, so there's the word. Here, techniques. So once you see the word um, that is similar to the one you've guessed before, you can feel free to ignore the other ones, especially the ones that you cannot understand. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> School to work transition is a historically persistent topic of educational policy making and reform that impacts national systems. Something about school to work when you move from um, when you graduate from school and you go to work. Okay, training the transition process refers to a period 
between something of general education and the beginning of vocational education, or the beginning of gainful employment, as well as to training systems, institutions, and programs that prepare young people for careers. So obviously, the key word here is school to work, which means uh, when you finish school and then you go to work. So the word in the blank should be、um, the ending of general education. Because it says between general education and beginning of vocational education. Okay, let's have a look at the options.、Uh, beginning endurance processing completion. Obviously, completion is、um, the synonym for ending, as well. Okay, from history structurally under late modernism, and young people are forced to adapt to changing. Okay, of the environment, especially when planning for entry into the labor market. Changing something that I can't guess, so just going to have a look at the drop-down menu.、Mm, demands, appearance, necessities, and options. Okay, I'll say demands, because appearance of environment doesn't make sense. Necessities of environment, no options of environment. Hmm. You can also try to read it out loud, just to see if it sounds right. Demands of the environment. Obviously, environment means、um, you know the companies they asking for like you know higher skills and、um, more knowledge, for example. So they demanding、uh, something from you. But these demands are constantly changing, so people need to adapt to these demands. Why some people, some young people, have developed strategies to cope with these requirements?、Um, those undereducated and otherwise disadvantaged in society often face serious problems when trying to prepare for careers.、Um, it says while, while okay, something, something, and the second part is pretty negative. So I'll guess it should be something good before have developed good strategies. Okay, unsuccessful, successful, unknown, and known. Okay, um, I'll choose successful, um, because even though they they have really successful good strategies, there's still some problems out there. Okay, longer transition lead to greater vulnerability and to risky, risky. I don't know. Let's have a look at the options. Demonstrations, questions, behaviors, business. Okay, I'll say behaviors because it's talking about them, about those students. Um, so they be they are becoming very vulnerable. Um, and which means that they have tendency to um maybe do bad things. Um, which is why it means that their behaviors might. Not be inappropriate. Okay, next one. <clears throat> When people ask how many countries there are in the world, they expect a simple answer. Okay,、um, linking word, and then we've explored the whole planet. We have international travel and global organizations like the United Nations. Okay, for example, after all, at the end, in summary, they're not giving. They're not giving examples or like summarizing anything. So like after all or at the end will be the options. But at the end, end of what? And we use、um, after all just、uh, to add information that shows what we just said before is true. Okay, it's like in fact, ultimately, essentially. So we should really know how many countries there are, because、uh, we've already explored the whole planet. So we should know.、Uh, might, can, should, and don't. Yeah, I can see the word I've guessed before. However, the answer varies. Okay, depending on. Whom you ask? Okay, because different people will answer differently. Okay, 
according to okay according to whom you ask in terms of what regarding something it doesn't make sense according to okay the problem something because there's an university a great definition the problem um what verbs goes with problem arises mm, yeah i can see arises um not raises we raise question problem itself should arise comes should go should go is like comes up comes up and it seems seems like something but it it's followed by because okay next one um okay the country and because for political reasons some countries find convenient to recognize or not recognize other countries find it convenient state want make find yeah i can see find state should go with that state that it is convenient one want it to be convenient to recognize um make it convenient to recognize but they don't make it convenient to recognize so you can see that i always try to guess the word bef beforehand um so that i can eliminate um, the other options more quickly Okay, so for this one, you guys can practice um, to do on your own and I will also show you my answers. Um, and please feel free to pause the video because I'm going to move um, a bit fast. Okay, let's do it.
、um, so please remember to spend more time on filling the blanks, reading and writing,、um, because this task doesn't just mark your reading but also writing as well,、uh, and it carries the highest score in the reading session. So you can use this、uh, plan as your guide,、um, but please feel free to customize and、um, to choose the time management plan that is most suitable for you and can bring、um, the best result. Yeah, please feel free to comment、um, your questions、uh, if you have any, and、uh, good luck with your test. Bye, guys.